Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Dragomar. It's time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. We are on a mission to ascend these champions. No, um. We're doing massive amounts of ascension. Boom. Okay, we got her fully ascended. As I'm telling you, ascending these guys is not anywhere near as easy as it sounds. Get those two done. You, you. Let's see. These are the four. These are the two I have to ascend. Do I have the potions? I most likely don't. Well, you know what that means. We'll start with this. We'll make it, we'll put a twist on it, shall we? We'll fight all of the ones that are guaranteed to give me potentially the uh, greater potion or lesser potions. Because that's the ones I need. I don't need as much of the other type because uh, they tend to not be the uh, most wanted. going we have to fight like all the versions of this guy I can I might well except for the highest one the highest I don't think I want because it'll give me even if I could with like Versolf or something it's still a bad uh, plot because um, it's a bad idea for a couple of reasons. The biggest one is that it's got a higher probability of um, superior potions, which we obviously don't want. Um, I, I don't know, man, like, I have to fight it out with these, uh, with these, uh, keep bosses, because I've got to get these potions, you know? You know? Because, I, again, I can't really rest until these are ascended. Because that's how... When this keep is open. Because that's how... Um, that's how I'm going to get the... Um, that's how I'm going to get this done. I'll take that. Each one, each one of those those other potions adds up into me potentially getting the uh, the next ascension on these suckers. Because yes, I have been fighting these a significant amount.
Don't think I have it. Because I, I have to fight this knuckle-headed dude a lot. This crazy crown-headed dude a lot. Just to get all of those potions I need, you know? I even got some ancients we can open. Because we're not near clan versus clan anyway. And there's a potential for a, uh, a sweet-ass Prince Kaimar. Which I want to try for anyway. So why not? Why not get a Prince Kaimar, you know? That would be amazing. I don't think I've seen anything that amazing in their things. You know? I still want to try for it. I mean, I got most of those shards from fighting this guy, believe it or not. Trying to get these potions. Let's give it a go, man. I mean, the thing about him is he actually can do a fair amount. Oh, we got an epic! Oh, we struck big! Hey! You know, not bad. A new Shadowkin. A oh, sick. Oh, her rate. She looks sexy as hell, but her rate, except for Asachi, but her ratings, man. Ouch. That's an ouch right there. That's an ouch. Oof. Yeah, that's got a sting. At least we got a new Shadowkin, but... Oof. Her ratings are just... Oof. You know... We're doing it. Now we're mixing up these brews. We'll mix it. We'll mix it. Let's go. Lich is fully ascended. Let's go. Or not fully ascended, but ascended where I need him to be. We're at it again. Because here's the thing. I do the lower ones because I don't want... I don't want the uh, the superior ones this time. I want the inferior ones. So the best way to get those is to like just go low enough to give us a chance for those greater ones. Because that, that's going to give me the best chance. Now, even when we get the smaller ones, it's still not a complete loss. Because each one of those... Each one of those can fuse into a larger one. I thought Umatogi was a good thing. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go compare her to Sachi real quick. Sachi, the OG. Um... After getting more potions, obviously. Because I don't want... I don't want to miss out on these potions. Because I know Sachi's decent. But what are her reviews? I know Umatogi here has, like... Painfully bad reviews. Like, she looks like she'd be good, but... I don't really want mystery shards. I, I was hoping... I mean, I'm not going to feed Umatogi because it's Shadowkin. You know, Shadowkin are valuable, especially on this account, especially if they're epics. I don't know, man. I... 
After seeing those reviews, I don't know what to think of Umatogi. I really don't. I don't. It's the same problem with, uh, what's his face? Alexander the Sarp Suitor. Like, bloody terrible ratings, man. Like, terrible. Now, the champion I'm trying to get here... Like, Berserker, I was not enthusiastic about at all because I've seen way too much of him. He's a freaking farmable rare from Campaign. Like, literally, a farmable rare. I am not, I don't want to spend all that effort. Like, I don't want to blow shard and get a farmable rare. That, that's just an insult. Like, I want at least like an like something like Umatogi or something like something special, you know, something I have to think about rather than oh yeah, you know, you're just food that I can farm, farmable food. That yeah, you can be used in arena. Yeah, you do damage, but you're you're just kind of food, you know. It's not not my favorite. Um, At least you can't heal, that's for sure. One thing I like about block buffs is it literally makes it impossible for them to buff themselves, which is always useful versus um Losses like this. Still would have liked Deacon or something. You know? Uh, it's a pity that... Okay. Let's compare Sachi. Now, I'm not ascending Sachi. Yet. See, uh, Sachi has a lot better ratings overall. She's also kind of got the goods. She's got goods, really good looking mask, nice weapon, very good looking champ, good reviews, does good damage. She's an all in one. This lady, uh, not this lady, um, this lady's gonna be the fusion for the lizard man. God tier lizard man. Um, this lady though doesn't look too bad, but her ratings oof. She's slightly better. Fine. Oh, wait, what are her skills? Right, two times. Okay. So this guy. Oh. I need so many <sighs> force potions. Uh, you know what? I'll start at 11 and go up from there. How's that? And then we'll go down again. Because I've got to, like, literally comb every inch of this uh, thing to try to get the potions, you know? <sighs> I mean, I'm going to keep her. Even if her rating's not that good, she might get buffed. She might have a hidden use. I'm not going to toss her because Shadowkin are valuable, especially Shadowkin epics. Um, but Asachi is definitely priority for rank 6 -ing. Most definitely. As you saw the ratings, I mean, she's got a full package. Literally. Everything you want. Looks. Utility. Damage. You know. Everything you need. Everything you need in a Shadowkin woman, she kind of offers it. So, hey. She's going to be a priority. I'm not saying that Umatogi might not get maxed one day. Especially if they buff her. 
buff for now. Yeah, no. The other one's a priority. But yeah, the reason I'm doing these is I'm trying to finish up these ascensions, you know. Because I know that if I can just get nine of the other potions, I can get this done. It might cost a little energy fuel, but at this point, even if it costs me gems, I don't care. Because I really want to fix that champion. Um, same with Aina. Aina, I'm going to be helping her a lot too. Aina and Sachi. Before I help Aina and Sachi, I've got to prioritize Rosin. I was hoping to get a, a Kaimar, but I wasn't holding my breath for a Kaimar. Because Plarium has diluted the champion pool so much that uh, the chances of getting a Kaimar are phenomenally low just in general it, it is it is incredibly rare to get a Kaimar hell I would have even settled with a Geomancer I was kind of miffed that it, like at first I thought it was a great find but now I'm not so sure because I don't, I don't know how, like, those reviews were really awful. So I'm going to just stick with improving the champions I know have good reviews first. That, that's my, my philosophy. I mean, I guess it's okay, because that means we're not going to run out of, uh, you know, superiors anytime soon, but unfortunately, I want the lower ones. You know, I'm actually going to go for the lower. I'm going to, after this, I'm actually going to go down in a grade, because I don't need more superiors, uh, unfortunately. Like, it's great to have superior potions for legendaries, but my, the one that I'm really lacking, unfortunately, is the, um... Is the other ones. The, um... The lower potions. You know? Um, I am thinking of putting an extra decreased defense in here just to speed up these runs, you know? Because just having one decreased defense isn't really ideal. Better to have multiple... Kytus. I have an account with Kytus on it. I haven't fully developed him, but I'm probably not going to because I have other champions I want more prepared than Kytus. Um, I was thinking maybe Drockle, but there's some other ones. Minaya, um But you want another one that's really important, though? Godseeker and Neri. Now you might ask, why Godseeker and Neri? Well, the Hydra, in order for me to really do the Hydra in and some other advanced content, I need a reviver who can really, really revive. Like, is like prolific at reviving. Or a nuker, like, like, like Alexander the Sharpshooter or something. But I'm thinking Godseeker, because I don't have a, a, a Duchess. And since I don't have a Duchess, Godseeker would probably be the next best thing. Godseeker would be the next best thing to a Duchess. Mm, 
Now, there is a lot of RNG involved in this. Case in point. But we're going to go throw a War Maiden in here. And I'm sure you guys want to see War Maiden. I'm sure you do. Because War Maiden, she adds a bit of color. She doesn't hide it. She doesn't use clothes to hide her color. She adds um, some lively interest to the uh, proceedings. We're going to fight any difficulty I can. Mid to low difficulty is actually what I want because I don't want I don't want more um, superiors in this case. If I have to fuse a bunch of these little potions, so be it. Because I, I need... I need these potions, man. I need these little potions looks like I can fuse them into the into the mid-size ones. The mid-size ones is what the ones I need. We can go up from there. I wish I knew the probabilities for the mid-size potions, you know. Like where where does the probability which is the best one? For the probability of the mid-size potions. Because that's who I want. Um... Okay... Just gonna keep doing going up and looking around until I find these potions. You know, little or bit, uh, little or medium. Little or medium is what I want, because big won't do it. At least for the stage I want. Can we? Can we do it? Someone got Denag Skullry. He looks cool, but again, I think he has that that uh Really? Okay, you know what? Let's try it. What are we going to get? Another epic. A dupe Burringiri. What do you know? Not what I expected at all. Uh. Yeah. A dupe Burringiri. Not what I expected. Let's start at stage eight. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. I was like, what the hell? I was not expecting to get a Burangiri. Of all the things. Because he's a dupe. Yep. He's a dupe. I mean, I still use the regular Burangiri for advanced content. But he's a dupe. I don't know what to tell you. He's a dupe. Not going to develop him yet, 
because I already have one. I'll develop him later. Maybe something with for Hydra, because again, he's got Strengthen. Strengthen's a pretty valuable buff. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep looking. Um, let's see. Get the grater in there. We need another six. I am gonna keep. Oh, someone got a Calvalax. Congrats to them. Congrats to them. I got a dupe. A champion that I think is complete rubbish. But I'm not sure if it's rubbish. And a champion that is a farmable campaign rare. Which is always a bummer to get in these... Um, I would have liked a Skull Lord. I would have liked that. I would have, but I didn't get it, obviously. Still hunting for these potions, man. I mean, I guess I can use him as a faction guardian. You know? I know you guys don't like me talking about faction guardians, but... Sometimes, if they're not part of a fusion, and you have a dupe of them... Yeah. Yerp, it's the same with Deacon, because I now have a dupe Deacon on the other account. I didn't get a Deacon here, I would have loved a Deacon. Nope. On the other account, I would have liked a burn geary, but nope, I got a burn geary here and a dupe burn geary here. Would have liked a Vogoth here, did not get a Vogoth. The other one, I get two Vogoths. I have a bad feeling this even extends to legendaries, and that's why there's a guy with three Leoriuses. And everyone else doesn't get a Leorius. Yep. I'm not joking. I think that there's like a certain set of champions that do appear on uh, on a specific account. Like this one's got a thing with Burngiri and it's got a thing with um, Demon Spawn. Lots of Demon Spawn. Um, And the other one's got more dark elves, um, lizard men, kind of, um, high elves, lots more high elves. 
Uh, sacred order, more sacred order affinity. This one's got a fair sum of dark elves, though. So that's kind of what I wanted to see. See, we've got three done. We just need one more. We just need one more, man. <sighs> we'll start here. I mean, I know this is tedious, but don't think this isn't crazy hard for me on me as well, because I'm literally at, like, graveyard shift attempting this. Because I don't want to miss out. So here's the thing. I'm not going to miss out on XP boosts, because I have those everywhere. But I am going to potentially miss out on getting these ascension potions. To try to get, try to measure up for the rosin fusion. As it's very important that I get those champs ascended. So then all I have to do afterwards is just get them to level 50. You know? Getting them to level 50 One thing I like about Peril, it takes a huge chunk out of the sucker One thing I like about that move Because he can't avoid it That's the thing, he can't avoid Peril So that's what... I wish there was like some kind of accessory that you could use to hit, make himself hit multiple times or something to increase the uh, occurrence or the uh, unlocking of peril somehow. Peril accessory specific to Mortu. Like, thing scales up accuracy. I don't know. Like, something to make it so his peril comes off. Or not, maybe not even accuracy. Scales off HP or something. Just something to make that peril move unlock more often. You know? Because then that would make him more powerful, more desirable. If you just had something in his kit that makes it so his peril unlocks more often. Because his peril's great, by the way. Like, it's his most prized move, is peril. That, 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 that is the most prized thing. Like, yes, block buffs is the second most prized thing, and I do use him for block buffs a lot, and I really like block buffs, and that's actually why he's in this fight. But, but, Block buffs is not what I want him for. I want, well, I, it, it, it is in some situations, but in Arena, his biggest thing besides block buffs is, well, it's heal reduction, because heal reduction is really nice uh, for fighting enemies. But it's also, oh. Uh, it's peril. It, it, it's, the, it's the screw over the enemy with that. Perfect. We even got the block buffs on him, so good luck buffing yourself to save yourself, because uh, that's not happening. Uh, I'm just going to wait until that wears off. Aha. 
See, that ignores. Do you see how much that crit him for? I don't even care if War Maiden died. The damage is done already. That's her point. But she'll come back after the fight's over. Obviously. All right, let's uh, let's hunt around a little bit. Well, we'll do this one, and then we'll go do check out how this works. Uh, we'll because I I'm trying to to decide where the most likely that the potion will show up. You know. I know it seems foolish for me to spend shards at this point, but I was I was hoping for some legendary or something. Well, we got two epics. That's pretty dang good for ancients. Um, one I know is good, but I... Okay, let's first check out what we got already. All right. Let's, uh, fuse one. Let's, uh, fuse that. And let's, uh, do that. Did that do it? We did it, guys. The rosin fusions are fully ascended to their... The rosin fusions ascended, ready to fuse. Now I just have to level 50 them all. Yep. Well, not that be fun? Kek W. And in the meantime, we gotta make some space. Because I can't pick up any of my latest gear. But we're doing that later, because I wanna go to bed.